Hey superstars, look at this, a surprise package from Baseball Card Illustrated. We've got a special video for you today. Our friends Bronco and Kevin sent their pal Rob Deere to visit with a sweet little Alvaro Espinosa bribe, and I get to keep one of these too. There's the man of the hour, so I'm gonna take Rob and you around on a tour of my stomping grounds, the rubber capital of the world, Akron, Ohio. Hi, we've got Rob Deere in the car and we are in downtown Akron and we're gonna pass by the um, Akron Zip Stadium, which I think is Info Sijum, Inf Infocision Field, no, inf Suma Field at Infocision, that it's where the Akron Zips play football. Okay, but Rob, safety first, buddy. We can't have you riding up there. Okay. That's better. All right, here we go. Easier said than done. This is a really nice stadium with a pretty awful football team, but the University of Akron Zips did win their first game recently after a 31 game losing streak, so go Zips! The Akron football program has produced such NFL greats as Jason Taylor and, um, uh, Charlie Fry. We got a lot more to see, so let's head south. Here we are at the Akron Canton Airport. I know it's not super exciting to look at, but I just wanted to stop by here really quick. This is where Thurman Munson fatally crashed his plane in 1979. Munson was from here and would frequently fly home on off days to visit family. And now that I've depressed everybody, let's move on. Are at Derby Downs, home of the All-American Soapbox Derby. So if you're a little kid in a derby car, you start your way up there and roll your way all the way down here. Akron is famous for holding the world championships for soapbox derby racing. In the 50s and 60s, it was a huge deal, sometimes attracting as many as 70,000 fans and racers from around the world. My nephew actually won a championship in his race class a few years ago, but he's way too cool to watch my videos now. So hey Dylan, what's up? Right down the road from Derby Downs is the Goodyear Air Dock. Actually, Lockheed Martin owns it now, so it's really the Lockheed Martin Air Dock. Goodyear built this as a blimp hangar in 1929. It is a massive building, about 364,000 square feet. Goodyear built a lot of blimps in this building, especially during World War II, and blimps have always been a huge part of Akron. We often see Wingfoot 3 flying around, which resides in a much smaller hangar now. Fun fact, Goodyear doesn't own any blimps anymore. They have three airships in the US fleet that are technically Zeppelins. Hey, what's that? A little farther south in Canton, Ohio, we have the Orange Juice Hall of Fame. We Ohioans love our orange juice, so we built a giant orange juicer. And behind the juicer, you can see the stadium where we celebrate the annual orange juice games. It's kind of like Roman gladiators, but instead of swords and spears and stuff, guys just throw oranges at each other. It's pretty weird. So let's get back to Akron. Back in downtown Akron, over there, you can see the Civic Theater and that big flower mural. The mural changes quite often. It's usually pretty cool, but Rob Deere doesn't seem to be that interested in flowers. That's chick stuff. There's my rather cold helper, Milo, and you can see that Akron is the home of the Black Keys. This park has this little Christmas village that usually has an ice skating rink, but not this year. We'll head down here. Akron is also the home of Devo. Whip it good, Rob Deere. Here's where we are in the world. And here is one of my favorites, Archie the Talking Snowman. Archie is 20 feet tall and absolutely terrifying. When I was a kid, you could visit him at the mall. He had these demonic glowing red eyes and demanded to know what you wanted for Christmas, even though you had just told Santa. Now he resides at Lock 3 Park and unintentionally scares the children of the children he scared in his heyday. It's pretty awesome. Within walking distance of Lock 3 Park is Canal Park, home of the AA Akron Rubber Ducks. 
As you can imagine, I've spent a lot of time in there. It's a beautiful park, and I've seen lots of great ball players pass through here. CC Sabathia, Cliff Lee, Grady Sizemore, Francisco Lindor, Jose Ramirez, Mike Clevenger, Shane Bieber. Uh, there we can try to get a little peek of the field. Hopefully baseball will come back next year. What do you think, Rob Deere? Could you hit it out of here? There is the Akron Art Museum at the corner of High Street and Market. I've spent a lot of time in there as well. A few years ago, a spaceship crash landed on top of it there, and nobody could figure out how to remove it, so they just threw some more art in there. What was that, Rob Deere? You're getting hungry. All right, there is the place to get a pizza in Akron, Luigi's. Pretty good stuff. Almost like a Detroit-style pizza, but not square. They're also known for their salads, which are mostly cheese piled on top of a little tiny bit of lettuce. The Italian bread is really good too. I once got a piece of bread there that looked exactly like Dr. Zayas. I took it home and I kept it as a pet for a few months. Oh, and to the left there, the upstairs of that building used to be a brothel. Way to go, Akron. I drove by this a while back for another video, but this is St. Vincent St. Mary High School where some dude named LeBron James went to school. What's that, Rob Deere? You remember that video? You remember what I did after visiting St. VNM? Well, yeah, we can do that. Just down the street is my favorite Krispy Kreme. Hot and fresh. Don't eat them all, Rob Deere. One more stop to make, Rob Deere. We are at my LCS Triple Play Vintage. Let's see what we've got today. Table full of rookies, bunch of wax. Look at that, Rob Deere. Friends, say hello. There's some magazines, some rack packs, way too much 90 Fleer. Always some good stuff in the showcases, but my camera work leaves much to be desired. Sorry. Well, I had a lot of fun, Rob Deere. I hope you did too. Where would you like to go next? The city of subdued excitement. That sounds like fun. Well, good luck and Godspeed, my friend. Say hi to Andy for me. I'm looking forward to seeing some more of the Rob Deere World Tour. Thanks for coming along, everybody.